Stop! Now put your hands on your back. Don't touch your hands. I promise you I'll pay my fine. Stop touching me. Turn around. Back up. Back up. Back up. coming out. At 11.25 a.m. on Sunday, a house on the second floor of Sydney Street caught fire. A child and a woman were in danger, making for tense seconds. Radio put a brush on fire. Kids are jumping out the window here. Let him go, let him go. Against the backdrop of the raging fire, we see a child trying to be rescued over the second floor overhang. As the situation becomes more precarious, he is carried to a shelter and saved by people waiting below. Concern began to spread, and some people appeared to panic as police entered the burning house. As the thick smoke began to obscure the view, the situation became more difficult. The police thought quickly and told people who wanted to help to get out, realizing that such actions could be dangerous. One woman in the house acted recklessly. In a moment of desperation, she jumped to safety from the second floor overhang. When Buffalo police arrived on the scene, they caught her, allowing firefighters to concentrate on extinguishing the blaze. This footage has been captured on a Baltimore County police officer's body camera. Officers arrived at the Parkville CVS, where a robbery was reportedly imminent. Put your hands up! Put your hands up! Put your hands up! Officers began to enter the CVS on East Jopper Road. They knew there was an armed suspect inside, standing over an intimidated witness. Without hesitation, the officers ordered the suspect to duck and surrender his weapon. 28 pharmacists arrived, two went out the window. Out the window! Out the window! As the situation became tense, two other suspects, David Roosevelt, 22, and Dylan Longlet Smith, 21, jumped out of the window with the stolen prescription drugs. The other officers gave chase, leading to the arrest of the two suspects near the town line. When officers searched the suspect, they found weapons in their pockets and cash and drugs in their vehicle. They were held without bail on various serious charges, including armed robbery, burglary, and theft. Through police body cam footage in Seattle on August 16th, 2020, we witnessed protesters throwing explosive fireworks at police officers. A disturbing moment is revealed. Go on, you're all right. You're all right. As the body camera starts to record, we can see the demonstrators choosing a dangerous course of action. They throw explosive firecrackers wildly, creating an explosion that shakes the atmosphere. As the situation became more intense, the assembled police were attacked by explosive firecrackers thrown by the protesters. The giant explosions caused the officers to take the protesters more seriously. The police began to set up barricades to confront the protesters. The demonstrators continued to attack the police with the fireworks they were carrying, but the police carried out their duties as instructed, confronting the demonstrators without attacking them, and this incident caused no casualties. A gripping moment has been revealed by police body camera footage in Utah. Within hours of a tragic car crash, a baby's life depended on the quick and brave actions of a rescue team. What have you got? What have you got? A group of heroes consisting of three police officers, two firefighters, and an angler took to the river. They braved the current to save lives. They searched the car and found a baby in need of immediate rescue. Here, pass her up, pass her up! Pass her up! Here, right here, right here. Go, 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 go! They immediately tried to save the baby in risky conditions. Along with the rescue, an attempt was made to call an ambulance. As the baby was removed from the overturned car in the rushing river, 
The officers carefully carried it into the ambulance. Sergeant! Come on, sweetie. Once the baby was in the ambulance, the officers wasted no time. They immediately performed the necessary rescue procedures to ensure the baby's safety. The baby was then taken to hospital, and fortunately, his life was saved. A woman in Eau Claire, Wisconsin, appears to be caught in a downward spiral of drug abuse, leading to increasingly disturbing behavior. Miss. Police responded to a report of a woman who suddenly took off her clothes and ran down the street. When the police approached her, she ran away. This is a sign of out of control behavior. Even more alarming is this person's conviction history for intentional abuse of a dangerous substance. Yeah, I can see it, yeah. So, okay. I, don't, I don't know where she hit She hit it in here somewhere the first time. Maybe. Probably, probably right here. Maybe. The witness also reported that the woman had punched a parked car several times without apparent provocation. There was evidence of the woman's previous behavior reported by the witness. No, I'm not a shit! Stop that. Oh, oh. <laughs> when the police approached her and tried to speak to her, she appeared to get out of control and one of the police officers was kicked by the woman. This forced the police to take decisive action and arrest the woman. This never before seen moment reveals a tense and shocking moment when a 10 year old boy is arrested for causing a tragic event. Captain Ranker, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. What's your name? Joy McVeigh. Joy McVeigh, okay. Deputy Stryker and Captain Ranker went to the home of a boy who had allegedly committed an act of violence against his family. The boy, Joey McVeigh, was 10 years old, but his actions were beyond belief. What happened, Joey? Well, I my mom. Okay. What happened? What transpired to get up to that point? I thought every day just making me Sitting at the dinner table, Joey was questioned by a police officer and admitted what he had done. He had shot his mother leaving the officer speechless. When asked what had caused him to do it, it turned out that it was just the treatment of his mother that had made him angry. So where did you get the gun from? Your room? Mm -hmm. Okay. What kind of gun did you have? Shocked to hear this, Deputy Stryker studied the child and asked where he got the gun. The child answered that he got it from his room, a Type 22 gun. With this confession, the officer took him away and charged him with murder and misuse of firearms. A man in Florida has been arrested after doing something severe to his roommate. What makes this situation even stranger is that the perpetrator committed the act while wearing a cat costume. Sheriff's office! Sheriff's office! Deputies arrived at the perpetrator's home after the incident. They broke down the perpetrator's door, entered with their guns drawn, and searched the house for the suspect. The deputies shouted for the suspect to surrender, but there was no response. That's important. Right door. No, bro, no, come, come here. here. Come, out, come out here. Come here. Oh. Go. Go to the road. Go to the road. Another person was trapped inside the house, and he told the deputy where the suspect was. The deputy then instructed the person to come out. Hands right here. Come on. Walk out. Come on. Come this Walk way. out. This way. Turn around. Come way out. Back up. Come out. He's coming out. Back up. The deputies kept their guns pointed at the end of the room. Realizing there was no way out, the suspect finally raised his hands towards the deputies and surrendered. Sure enough, he came out wearing his cat costume, just as he had when he committed the gruesome act. He was charged with murder and held on $1 million bail. A very moving and tense moment unfolds here as a man is electrocuted in his private swimming pool. Police officers perform dramatic stunts to save the man's life. Move, move, move. Those men were working nearby when they came across the man unconscious in his pool. HQ India 336, I'm starting CPR. When the incident happened, the atmosphere in the pool was one of fear and panic. The man had received a fatal electric shock and his life was in grave danger. The police officers present sprang into action. CPR for two minutes. You miss her? Yep, sir. They immediately saved the man's life and started CPR. Is he breathing? Yeah, he's breathing on his own. We're 
bag and bring some more. All right, good. I did what I could, Captain. Yeah. The man was taken to a new... In the midst of overwhelming tension, the police officers meticulously followed the CPR procedure. Unfortunately, the rescue attempt paid off. The man began to show signs of breathing. The man was immediately taken to a nearby hospital where he was lucky enough to survive the incident. An agitated moment has been captured on body cam video as police officers in Cambridge, UK, chase a man armed with a knife. You got a runner. He's got a knife. Church Street's got a knife. Body camera footage takes us to the streets of Cambridge on the 30th of June 2023. A dramatic pursuit is underway. Two neighbourhood support officers are chasing a man with a knife. No! I'm turning back! Right, you're detained for 23, search. We're not being okay, get the other stuff. The man was suspected of being involved in drug offences and carrying a potentially dangerous bladed weapon making the atmosphere increasingly tense. Officers cautiously fired warning shots and the man was eventually arrested. He was released on bail with the condition not to enter Cambridge. A Sand Springs woman was arrested in a drug bust after trying to flee from police. Come here, stop, police, stop, police. Man, two foot pursuit, stop, police, stop, come here. Body cameras recorded officers patrolling near 5th and Main on a Friday afternoon. They saw a woman running down the street. The woman reportedly hid behind a small tree to avoid the police, and when the officers tried to approach her, the situation became stressful. Please don't take me. Get, give me your hands. I promise you I'll pay my fine. Turn around! I can't go to jail, lose my job. Turn around! Give me your hands! During the arrest, the woman resisted and stated that she was afraid of losing her job and having to pay a fine. I rescheduled yeah. with y'all, and then when I called back, I had five more issues for me. I had to go to work. After the arrest, police identified the woman as Alexis McIntosh, who was 21 years old. They found that she had five outstanding warrants and also found cannabis in her bag. In Ohio, where Alliance police officers responded to a 911 call, they were trying to rescue a woman trapped in her car, which had sunk into a river. Unexpected tension and danger are highlighted in this situation. Come on, 42, we are out here. This is crazy. They're going to get you out, Alexis. Body cameras captured the moment the officers arrived on the scene. They found the woman's car almost completely submerged in the river. There appeared to be no way out for the woman. All right, I got you. Hold him. I got it. I got you. I got you. Hold on. Everyone... I need relax. Shut up, please! Relax. Yeah, well, man. Tell her to get away. The situation gets worse as the officers try to free her. However, their efforts only seem to make the car sink further. Hold on. Let go, let go, let go. Oh my Freak. god, let go. Please! Please, hurry up! Please. Police officers try to get the woman out of the sinking car. Panic sets in, and a policeman's life is also in danger. Seconds later, the car is completely submerged. In another moment, the policeman breaks the rear window and manages to save the woman. A man in Edgewater was arrested after he committed a dangerous act against the Volusia County Sheriff's Office Air One helicopter. Come here, man. Walk over here. Who had the freaking laser? Huh? I don't have one, bro. Who's got the laser? The helicopter camera shows three people in a boat getting into trouble with the police. Later, Volusia County Sheriff's deputies arrested three people after they pointed a green laser pointer at the Air One helicopter, which was on robbery duty. You thought that was a drone? Yes. Well, he, he, he lives on a sailboat, and I've been seeing a bunch of, he said he's been seeing a bunch of drones, and he's like, that's a drone right there. Stand by. You ain't under arrest. You guys are being detained, all right? However, in his confession, he initially thought it was a drone, as he often sees drones flying over the area. The officers acted decisively and arrested and detained the three men. I'm guessing it was a green laser. Affirmative, green laser. All right, we got one in custody for it and we got the laser. All right. The effect of the action was severe as the pilot suffered partial loss of vision for several minutes after the laser hit his right eye. The helicopter pilot asked if it was what he thought it was and the ground officer confirmed that it was. As a result, the three men were booked into the Volusia County Branch Jail on a $5,000 bond. A moment of tension unfolds in this video as police officers confront a man trying to escape. 
No, you can't. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Get out of the vehicle. No. Out of the vehicle. The body camera captures the officers attempting to remove the man from the vehicle. However, they face great difficulty as the man refuses to cooperate. The officers finally decided to break the window of the man's vehicle. Get out of the car! Get out of the vehicle! No! Why would you break my The situation escalated when the man attempted to escape by driving his car through the spike strips installed by the officers. In the end, the officers decide not to pursue the man, but not because they do not want to arrest him. They judged that pursuing a fast-moving car could endanger the lives of others on the road. Exciting moments on Bird Island, where Buffalo police officers performed heroic acts to save a woman. Body cameras capture officers arriving at the scene. The officer prepares equipment to perform the rescue. He then carries the equipment and gives the rescue instructions to the woman. I got you. I got you. It's okay. Do you want to drown or no? The officers extend a rope with a body harness to pull the woman. And soon, the officers reassure the woman that it will be safe. The officers then pull the woman away. What happened? Finally, the officers' heroic actions paid off. They managed to get the woman out of danger and to safety. A fascinating event occurred on July 9, 2021. Police officers in Kentucky had to act quickly to rescue a child who had been kidnapped. Turn around. And back was, me. Turn around and back towards me. And that was back the towards me. Hall. Keep walking back. Keep walking back. The officers' body cameras captured the moment they arrived at the home of the child abduction suspect. They spotted the suspect outside the house and then pointed a gun at him. The officers immediately took action against the suspect, who was wearing a red shirt. Driver passenger. Hello. The tension in this video is heightened when the officers manage to apprehend and secure the suspect quickly. Most importantly, they managed to rescue a kidnapped child who was in a red car at the scene. A chaotic airport situation occurred when a disturbed man was apprehended for causing a disturbance on a flight. However, the arrest posed its challenges. Deck in a minute. I believe you. You, you gotta hit that deck. Let's go. I believe. Don't ask. I believe. Don't ask. Don't ask. My dog's tougher than you. Okay. Take your mask off. Come and I need to see your ID. Don't play with me. The pilot of a Southwest Airlines flight from Orlando to New Orleans requested that a disruptive passenger be removed from the aircraft. The 44-year-old man was making threats to other passengers on board about his political and religious beliefs. What y'all heard on TV last night? Hey. Hey. Because he had gone too far and caused a scene, the police pulled off his shirt and made him lie down. He was then handcuffed and immediately secured. No! You will not know how strong my father is. Take him down. No, take, take him down. You can't. You're a You can't take me down. Backwards. Look backwards. at this. All backwards. Moments later, as the police took him out of the airport for further processing, he rebelled again and fought with the officers. To complicate matters further, he had to be taken away by several officers and immediately arrested for his actions in the subways of Manhattan, New York City. Police officers and a bystander perform a heroic act to save the life of a man in danger. The police officers' body cameras capture the moment they arrive at the subway station and find a man who has fallen onto the tracks. The situation was critical as a train was about to enter the station. The officers, along with bystanders, did not hesitate and took immediate action. The video shows the brave actions of the officer who went down to the tracks, grabbed the fallen man 
and struggled to lift him out of the path of the oncoming train. Thank you. Have a good. In the end, their heroic actions are successful and they manage to save the man just in time for the train to arrive. A tense incident that took place on the 3rd of July, 2021. Police were chasing a criminal suspected of being involved in the kidnapping of Davian Smith during a traffic stop. It was a tense chase. All right, get in the car. He just, he took him against his will, bro. What? All right, he took him, the dude, passenger jumped on and took him. He just took him by... As the police tried to stop the perpetrator's car, it began to slow down, creating tension in the situation. As one of the officers got out of the patrol car to approach the suspect's car, the perpetrator suddenly accelerated his vehicle and fled. The pursuit continued and the suspect's car was found in a car park. His car was parked, but the suspect did not give up and continued to flee on foot. Other officers joined the dangerous chase Finally, the determined action and coordination of the officers led to the arrest of the offender. He was arrested and charged with aggravated kidnapping. On February 27th, a patrol officer stopped a stolen pickup truck in Spanaway, Parkland. This resulted in a tense pursuit. Running, running, running south! The pickup truck was chased at speeds of up to 60 miles per hour towards Tacoma, where Lakewood officers used a stop bar to try and stop it. The car hit the bar and slowed dramatically to 10 miles per hour. The officer then used a pit maneuver to bring the vehicle to a complete stop. The suspect ran down that hill through some gnarly sticker bushes. We easily had him surrounded, but he just wouldn't give up. The suspect jumped out of the truck and attempted to flee on foot down a hillside covered in sticker bushes. The officers quickly surrounded him, but he refused to surrender. Uh, you want a pallet? Uh, I, can, I can toss you a pallet so you can... Uh, it. Uh, oh, you're gonna go. Uh, After a lengthy siege, he surrendered and climbed over a fence to surrender to police and was arrested. The suspect was arrested on a number of serious charges including drunk driving, escape, possession of a stolen vehicle, and resisting arrest. On August 17, 2021, the Forsyth County Sheriff's Office conducted an intensive search for an elderly woman missing in the woods. Mary! Mary, hey! Uh, the officers, along with their K-9, prepared to explore the dense forest. They have an important mission, which is to find a missing senior citizen and ensure his safety. Ten, I found her. I found her. She's in the draw behind the house. The canine continued to lead the officers closer to the scene. Moments later, the officers located the missing person and found Mrs. Kennedy at the bottom of the ravine, alive but injured. On June 27th, 2022, in Escambia County, Florida, we will witness an agitated moment in an interaction between a police officer and a driver. Chief Bob, I left it in there, I'm sorry. Okay. All right, well, that's definitely weird. As the driver exited his vehicle after being pulled over, the officer asked him to get back into his car. However, the driver claimed that he was locked out and unable to do so. This statement aroused the officer's suspicions. Oh, it's not, un it's not locked. The officer, highly suspicious of the driver's explanation, decided to search the vehicle. It turned out that the car was not locked. Oh, here you go. Here's your map. Sweet. Perfect. Uh, and then that the police then searched the man's car. They found drugs on the driver's seat and the rest in his black bag, with his driving license also in the black bag. He was then arrested for possession of drug paraphernalia and smuggling methamphetamine. On the 29th of April, 2022, in Columbia, Florida, 
Officers stopped a woman for not wearing a seatbelt, but the situation soon developed into something much more severe. I'm going to break you anyway. No, you're not. Why? Upon arriving sternly at the scene, the K-9 officer questions the driver about illegal narcotics in the vehicle. Initially responding with a no, the driver later declares, I'm going to jail, arousing the officer's suspicion. All right, um, where's the meth at? It's right there on you. All right, hold on, don't touch it. The woman was then asked by the police to come out and was asked where her belongings were. She replied that they were in her shirt. Then she was searched by a female officer, and another officer searched her car. In your bra. In your bra. How did you miss that? What did you do? Try to hold it when you were bend over. After the police pressed for more items, she again admitted there was more and admitted it was in her bra. The officer immediately searched her and found a large quantity of drugs. She was arrested and detained for further investigation. On July 5th at 10:24 a.m. Tensions rose in Pierce County as deputies responded to a 911 call about a trespassing vehicle. Okay, why are we back here when we're not supposed to be with the vehicle? Let you know everything's being audio video recorded. When deputies arrived, they found a trespassing vehicle and a man in the front seat who appeared to have fallen out. Suspense soon set in, however, when they discovered that the vehicle's license plate had been stolen. The driver, who was initially cooperative, suddenly fled as the deputies attempted to arrest him. A foot chase ensued. Contact one. Hey, get get down. Tension reached its peak as K-9 Eddie and his handler joined the deputies in pursuit and apprehension of the suspect. Eventually, the suspect was apprehended and handled by the officers. He was later treated for minor injuries before being booked into the Pierce County Jail. On Wednesday night in Columbia, Florida, an incident occurred when officers attempted to stop a vehicle without proper identification. Go get him, go get him, go get him. The chase began when the officer attempted to stop the vehicle. The driver immediately fled, and the chase ended when the car crashed into a tree, destroying the vehicle. The driver did not give up and continued to run on foot. The officers pursued the driver. They found the driver hiding behind a stranger's house, trying very hard to hide something. However, he was eventually arrested. I told dude, why dude, I'm just fit to just get out there. Why way. couldn't you just pull over and be done with it? I'm sorry, man. As he was being put into the police car, the driver, who had been trying to escape, suddenly showed remorse for his foolish actions. A man has tried to sneak into Area 51 without permission, creating an agitated situation. We'll dive into the dramatic details as the security deals with this man that we're seeing each other again like this. Yeah, I, I'm sorry to waste everyone's time. Well, let me let me, uh, let me me tell you something, okay? You've trespassed on, on uh, the test site here. When this man was first spotted by Area 51 security, the situation was very unusual. The man was detained and questioned by security officers known as camo dudes for trespassing in a restricted area. The officers also inspected the man's vehicle. I want you to understand the terminology. Okay. okay so your fine amount is $640. Sorry to shine that in your eyes, brother. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um. Following the incident, the man was inquired about the bail amount. He received an explanation about bail and the court process. Eventually, he will face prosecution for his unauthorized entry into Area 51. On October 3rd, 2022, in the early morning hours of 1.23 a.m., a suspicious incident occurred at the Cool Today Baseball Park in Northport, Florida. A concerned citizen called the authorities after seeing a woman entering the stadium. What are you doing out here? When police officers arrived on the scene, they approached the suspect, a woman wearing a brown shirt, black shorts, and no shoes. 
At this point, the officers began to order the suspect to stop and cooperate. However, the suspect appeared reluctant to comply. What is your deal? This isn't fun. The tension between the officers and the suspect reached its peak when the suspect was finally taken into custody. The woman was handcuffed and questioned before being taken away by the officers. In the final situation of being taken to the car, the woman resisted, but that was the end of it. She was taken away and charged with trespassing. On June 12, 2022, a tense incident occurred in Wausau, Wisconsin, when police officers were conducting surveillance on a woman with an active warrant. Don't touch me. Stop touching me. What you have to understand is I have- I don't care. I'm requesting a female. When the officers attempted to question her, the woman declined to allow them to search her. This situation highlights the escalating tension between the woman and the officers as they strive to carry out their duties. No! Take me to jail! I asked if there was a Take me to jail! Jail! jail. Stop. 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 Not only did she refuse to be searched, but she also firmly demanded to be taken to jail immediately, adding a further level of tension to the incident as the woman had no intention of cooperating with the police officers. After a fierce struggle, the woman was finally subdued by the officers, handcuffed and taken to the car for further investigation. This haunting body cam footage shows 28-year-old Dayton Vile avoiding police officers from the University of Central Florida after attempting to take him into custody. This same man who escaped the police would never be expected to be the one responsible for critically injuring two officers in a standoff just a month after this footage. No, no, don't, don't, don't reach for nothing, okay? There you go. I'll do one too. So I'm staying. In this video, police officers ordered VL to pull over after he was caught driving a stolen car. When one of the officers tried to take him into custody, he did this instead. Turn around, put your hands behind your back. Don't run. Don't run. You're gonna get tased. Don't run. You're gonna get tased. Tased. Get on the ground. Clear channel. Clear channel. The officers tried to tase him, but he ran fast and was able to escape by going back to his car and driving away, making the officers frustrated that they didn't catch up to him. Just a month later, Veal was shot dead by a SWAT team after shooting two police officers in a standoff in Orlando and critically injuring them. He had an extensive criminal history with multiple warrants for arrest and criminal charges. The next footage captures the moment when the police confront a highly intoxicated man at a petrol station. When the police approached the drunk man, he was unable to communicate clearly with the officers. As a precaution, the officers searched him to make sure he was not carrying any dangerous items. However, during the search, the man screamed and refused to be searched by the officers. When the police tried to talk to him, he suddenly tried to hit one of the officers. Seeing this, the officers quickly took decisive action, tackling him to the ground and handcuffing him for arrest. Recently, an FCSO deputy was called to an emergency involving a horse that had run loose on the highway. However, what happened next was highly stressful. While the deputies were trying to locate and catch the loose horse, one of them accidentally stepped on a beehive in the trees. As a result, the deputy was suddenly attacked and stung by a group of bees. Despite the bee attack, 
the deputy managed to get out of the situation unharmed, 